Inflation really hurting the wallets of Americans. The price of just about everything, groceries, gas, continues to climb. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is Fox News business contributor Gary Kaltbaum. Always good to see you, Gary. How are you? Great, thank you. Good morning, Amy. So we keep hearing sort of mixed reasons behind the inflation, right? Nobody seems to really be able to point to one particular explanation about why the price of everything is rising. What do you think is going on? Uh, not enough supply, and you have a central bank, and uh, excuse the words that are, are, are insane, uh, printing trillions of dollars uh, of conjured up money. And there's a simple economics 101 theory uh, too much money chasing too few things will force prices up, and that's what you are seeing right now. And the worry is the people that should have sought in the first place never did. Then the inflation hits and they tell us not to worry. They start using the word transitory. And now they're telling us, well, uh oh, maybe here for a little bit longer. And they're just forgetting ordinary people are getting hit and hit pretty good right now. And if it turns into a vicious cycle, then, then that's real big trouble. Keeping fingers crossed it doesn't. Well, it seems like we're getting mixed messages from the administration about, about how to go about fixing it. No one seems to really be on the same page. Then we had the Deputy uh, Treasury Secretary come out this weekend in an interview with ABC News. He said the only way to get out of this is for the everyone in the world to get vaccinated. So, so you juxtapose that with you know what we're hearing from the Transportation Secretary. And what do you think it's going to take to get out of this, Gary? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the political class will just tell us anything. Uh, to get out of this is time and to get away from the easy money and let the economy work on itself. And the biggest problem you have right now is you have businesses, consumers. If we ever get to the point where they basically sit down and say, if I don't buy something today, I'm going to pay a lot more next week. If that occurs, that means you're going to see hoarding by businesses and consumers. That's when you end up with more shortages, and that's when you end up with a vicious cycle where prices just keep going higher. I don't think we're there yet, but uh, sorry to harsh your buzz. It, it, it's getting worse, and, and for the lower income and the middle class, it is one big gigantic uh, tax uh, on a percentage basis. So something that has to be addressed. And unfortunately, one of the way to fix it is tightening monetary policy, raising rates, uh, and they're just not in the mood for that because they've been trying to protect markets for the last two years. Well, and I think, you know, you sort of hit the nail on the head that with the, the supply and the demand, because if people go to the grocery stores and they see that we are running out of things, especially essential things that you need, you know, we went through the toilet paper thing, but if, if it comes down to there's not enough laundry detergent, there's not enough this or that, you know, people are going to start buying it in, in large quantities, and that's not going to be good for the economy. You are talking human psychology, and if you go to uh, supermarkets right now, there are shelves that are empty. You've heard from some of the big box retailers uh, that they're going to limit you on certain things. You know, back to the toilet paper and the paper towels uh, again and again. That that feeds on itself, and that's where uh, you know you worry about it really worsening. And you know, I, I don't want to harsh the buzz, but you're harking back to. Uh, the late 70s where interest rates were 15 to 18 uh, percent. We do not want that happening because you've had a housing market on fire. And if you want to cool that off, uh, that, that would be the trick. So uh, again, I'm watching this. I'm speaking to businesses every day. I'm speaking to the big boys every day. They are, they are really worried right now. Uh, and I'm not sure the people in power know exactly how, how to fix it because they caused it. How are the markets reacting to this, Gary? Um, they've been okay, but you have to remember uh, the world is printing money, keeping rates at zero percent, keeping uh, rates uh, uh, negative. So right now they're okay, but I can promise you uh, the longer this lasts and if it worsens, uh, they will react negatively. Why? Because businesses will have to raise prices even more. Consumers will recognize that and first buy more, but then have buy less because they can't afford, and, and that's where the vicious cycle comes. Uh, businesses will have to decide, uh, should we eat it, uh, the difference, or pass it on? And usually when all is said and done, they have to pass it on uh, or else. All right. Well, these are certainly tough times. Uh, Gary, we always appreciate your insight, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Immerse Orlando 